Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. And, and it says it right here. Yeah, it says it there. And it just said it on the new opening that I had. That's why I paused on our name. Uh, Chris is like looking at me like, what the hell are you doing, man? But I have that new opening that you made mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. everything. So pretty excited about that. Look at our new Chris and Russ shirts. Chris made them. Good job. Thank you. Now, here's the big announcement. There is a link that I'm going to put in the comment, which you can just click on that link, and it takes you straight to one of our sponsors, Press Tees Tees, <clears throat> and you can order Press Toes. Okay, Press Toes Tees. Press Toes Like Presto. Okay, Presto. And you can order this logo on a white shirt and a black shirt, not an orange shirt like us. Or our Red Sea yes. TV 3D look. Yes. And just go to the link. Go to the and, link, uh, click on it, and get it. And get your shirts. Now, if everybody's like, okay, well, that's awesome. What it's going to do? Well, one thing, it helps our sponsor, which is good. And we're going to take the money we make off our shirts and roll it into our Christmas family that we do every year. But I would like to add a summer family into there. So do our a, buddies over at the Goodfellas do a Christmas in July. Do so. Christmas in July. Maybe we can <clears throat> jump on board and get, get a family for July too. Okay. So I want you to know where your money's going. It ain't just going to me and Chris going to Vegas or the Bahamas unless... There's a family in need over there. Exactly we'll, right. Then we'll we, fly over there and hang we out. We will with go them. with them. But get your shirts, man. It helps us. It helps our sponsor. We appreciate it. We are going to help a family in the summer, and we're going to help a family at Christmas. I'm super excited about that. You know what's cool right there? What? Is you communicated with them where that money's going. I Instead did. of just going, hey, go buy, a go buy a shirt, and letting them assume we're just going to keep the profit. Yeah, well, I, I, that is a that is amazing. I it's it's not really. It hard. is amazing. It's not hard. I'm telling what you what communication does. I, you're absolutely you're kind of right there because it it wasn't too hard on my part. I didn't so, think. as owners of the backyard, right? Uh, Magnolia, the lunch time group plus our normal lunch, the past two weeks has been insane. Packed, packed. And by packed, I mean, there's nowhere else to sit. Right. At a place that's 16,000 square feet, tables inside and out. A little cold yesterday, so chilly. most people want to yeah. be inside. But, you start running low on stuff. Right. The night before. And there's no communication that, hey, we're going to need extra steak balls. Get somebody else in. And so they have to work Double hard. like crazy to catch up. Yeah. When a little bit of communication would have kept them. Well, and I, so this morning we met down there at 8 o'clock. You, you had to train, you, right. so you didn't meet. So me and Brian got there. Brian got there early. I got there at 8. Job, Zill bro. got there at some point. Don't even talk about that. <laughs> Talking to Paul on the phone outside for an hour. But Brian made a point. He went, When you go take a when you go take a shit and there's one deal on there, do you just wait? Right. And then not have nothing to wipe your ass with? Right. Or do you go, hey, I need some toilet paper? <laughs> Very well put, Mr. Brown. That's a good point. What? And it's funny somebody with the name Brown yeah. came up with that. What is the and I and, and and we're picking on our own place, but what is so hard about saying, are you thinking as them, are you thinking, you know what? It hadn't been busy Monday. If without spring break and stuff, we're not super slammed. So we can catch up in the morning. Yeah. Instead of knowing and that's all about it. it it's communication and knowing what's going on. Our place is seasonal. Yeah. So until the weather's nice, you know, we have 30, 40, 50 people at lunch. Yesterday, there's 400. Yeah. 
Communication and preparation. Right. H works on hemorrhoids. Uh, so is tomatoes. Yes. But you're right. It is the communication of, hey, nighttime people could have definitely just text Barry and went, we are running out of stuff. Now, could we have fixed it that night? I don't know. Or could we have fixed it for lunch the next day? Possible. But Possibly. you're right. The, the communication of, well, we don't usually have that. But usually don't ever work, man. In, in, in our industry, it is easier. Calm down. Way easier. And it, in, in any industry, it is way easier to send somebody home than it is to get them to come in on their day off. Yes, I totally agree. At 11 o'clock when you call somebody and go, hey, can you come in to work? I'm busy today. I already yeah. got plans today. But, but it's easy to go, you know what, we're not busy if you want to go. And they're like, Phew. it's like Hussein Bolt. <clears throat> Just, this but bitch is going take, crazy. Take, take <laughs> that, and, and we've talked communication before, and it just happened that, that I was there at 8 o'clock. That is, that's, if that, that is preparing. If you, if you don't know that's what preparing. that means, I was there at 8 o'clock. That is preparing. I, I think a lot of people have a hard time with it. I, th I think in relationships, I think in explaining what you're going to do, like we did with these shirts, and, well, it's nobody's business what we're going to do with these with the money from these shirts. It ain't nobody's business. But but just like, it ain't, you know, it's the kitchen's business. It ain't the bar. It ain't the bar's business. It's right. the kitchen's business. No, that's a whole team. And if the bar can help the kitchen, that's what's going to happen. So hey. and and if and if there's a negative if there's a negative comment, you know, and everybody everybody gets them. We have this is this is whole. if if you look on Facebook, there's hundreds of five stars. Right. And there's a few bad ones. But man, the bad ones sting. Well, the bad ones hurt because it's it's like you don't you work so hard for the good ones. And the one bad one slips through the cracks. It's like that's the one they're going to focus on. So there's my next topic. It's only seven minutes and thirty seconds. I'm going to go into this. Young man comes into our place last week. Yep. Pays five dollar cover. After eight o'clock, piano man starts at nine. He's there about eight forty. Goes up. Doesn't like that we're only serving smokehouse. Right. Throws his menu down. Goes to the front. I can't believe this. Overpriced, only got four items on the menu. This is bull crap. Big George goes, this is the man you need to talk to. Rex goes, sir, what's going on? And this comes from different sources. So right. I'm, I'm, and they're all the same story. Right. Sir, what's the problem? I come in, you charge me $5, there's not any, even any entertainment. Piano man starts. Sir, no big deal. We'll kindly give your money back. No problem. I've already posted on Facebook, and I would appreciate if an owner would get back with me. Which, thank you, Brian. Immediately. He ain't even hit seeing yet, Brian. Brian is reply. on it. Sir, sorry for what happened. Addressed each issue. The guy replies with, oh, thanks for responding, but I wish you would have at least talked about the issues that I talked about. And Brian... Laid Trust it out. Me, if you know Brian, and we read it, Brian covered it all in detail. So yesterday I went. At what point can you go, sir? You don't have to come back to our establishment anymore. Thank you. I am the. I am the. I am the voice of. Uh, Reason when it comes to stuff like that, a lot of times. I am the voice of reason when, in, in, in a fact of just like, you know what, let's. But yesterday I did come up with exactly what you said, and I went, it's time to do that. It's time to tell them if you can't pay $5 to pay that guy to play, and if you don't understand that it says smokehouse every time at 8 o'clock because we can't serve as many people come in there and you're going to bitch that you have to wait 30 minutes. Well, you're right. Don't come. 
just like this dog might not be back tomorrow. Don't come back. Don't ever and come back. That they, they make signs that say, we have the right to refuse. And someone like that is just being a jerk. Yeah. Just being a jerk. People who post like that just want attention, just want somebody to go, man, what happened? Or you're right. Or what are you talking about? Just to cause oh, conflict. I know. I know. And it pisses me off. And I, we know the guy's name. And I'm not even going to say it. Not even going to say it. Go on, say it. No. But whether it's our friends at ADS, which is our sponsor today, Cryo. Yeah, there's somebody that's going to come into Cryo and get in that freezing and deal and go, oh my cold. God, this is too cold. Who could do that? Who yeah. would ever go to something like that? It, it was so cold. I, that's stupid. But just go, winning. sir, this isn't for me. I'm not going to yeah. cryo anymore. Exactly right. Oh, I'm fired up this morning. So if you decide to bitch on Facebook now over something that we try our hardest to make for you, I am giving <clears throat> Brian Brown permission and Mr. Chris Cox to say, don't ever come back to our place. We don't need you here anyway. You're going to bitch and moan no matter what. So there. I said it. I'm on the Won't tape. ever be me because I just don't comment. Brian? Those, those comments don't bother me because well, I know the, the, or, the, I know the miserable person that yes the but miserable the type is, of person that typed it. but but the thing is at some point we don't have to say we're sorry anymore because it's been the same way since day one we ain't changed it we ain't gonna change it and if you don't want to come here entertainment local entertainment national entertainment don't come you know what don't come at some point we're gonna have a cover because we have a band at some point, we may run out of steak balls because they are very, Popular. very time-consuming. And we've been doing half-price appetizers, so people have been ordering two or three at a time. And guess what? When there's four or 500 people in there, you know, there may be some toilet paper on the ground in the bathroom. And you trust might have me, to wait. Trust me, all those things are going to happen again. If you can't see past that, Don't come there's, back. A, there's some places down the street. Here's my favorite. We went to Austin. Heard a guy. Went to Austin. We went to Franklin's. We stood in line at Franklin's for an hour. We got up to the deal. He said we were four people away from the door, and Franklin's went out of barbecue. Sign says, when it's gone, it's gone. The guy went, ah, oh, just missed it. Stood in line for an hour. Four people from the door, but it's okay. It's okay if it's somewhere else. That's the frustrating part. It happens everywhere at some point. Shut up or get out. And Shane, you ought to love this show because we letting them have it. And by the way, if you want a burger that's already done, go to McDonald's. Ooh, because our shit's fresh. It is in a ball. It doesn't go on until you order it. The buns aren't toasted till you order it. So if you want some lame-ass burger, go down the street. That's all I'm saying. And if you want banners, signs, stripes on your vehicle, truck and car accessories. You go to ADS. Go to ADS. That's all you got to do. 752-7110. And I don't even know if y'all saw me look over there because I put my head down where you couldn't see my eyes. That's how we roll. ADSWaco.com. I'm done. I'm out of here today. Get us out. And put our new logo up at the end. Buy a shirt for the Christmas family. Until tomorrow. I, am right. I just want to shame Christian. God, oh my man. God, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's on video. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh. oh my God. Sorry, buddy. I had to. So before I leave, if we get in any trouble, can we bring him in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. After, you know, that other stuff. Though. Okay, as long as we can bring him in. I just... Just in case. Yeah. Like that guy that said all that stuff, can I send Shane over there? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's all I need to know. Until tomorrow, watch, like, and share. I am Russ. This is Chris. And we're out. <laughs>